Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing Tajikistan's folk style jacket wrestling, Gushtigiri. I've discussed jacket wrestling a lot in the past, of course, Georgian Chidaoba, uh, Mongolian Boch, and many others. So, jacket wrestling is quite uh, common in the continent of Asia. Sure, it differs a little bit. Uh, according to culture but nonetheless the human body is the same and you can see a lot of things in common and one of them of course being judo so another thing that is quite common for example between Guren which is in Europe in France and uh, the wrestling in Tatarstan and the wrestling in Korea Shiram you get things like cattle ox as a prize also the same in uh, Senegalese wrestling get a lot of crops as well so it's quite nice to see all these interchangeable elements in human cultures throughout the centuries so for example here you see this drop seoi otoshi seoi nage whether you are wearing a jacket or not you can see it and uh, here this seoi otoshi is also uh, being done now um based on my observation so a lot of these guys are actually wearing a judo gi the blue one with the black belt so we have to understand that with these wrestling cultures like central asia and the caucus a lot of them tend to do judo and you're gonna use some of your traditional wrestling in judo and vice versa because um a lot of them tend to have very similar rules take someone down on their back and obviously something like uh, Tajik wrestling or Georgian wrestling the the rules on the gripping are gonna be a little bit less restricted so you can do a little bit more in order to get your uh, throw across and get the win and that is gonna be very important so taking your judo into these uh, disciplines is not going to be very difficult you play by the rules sure for example no pinning and no arm locks and strangles but everything else from grip fighting to the throw itself and how you take someone down is going to be very much similar just like Lavelle stated that the Mongols when they see something from Swaija or Judo or whatever they'll take it they're not going to be like no this is not Mongol wrestling I'm not going to take it no Everything can be adopted. Look at this one here. Massive Uchimata Makikomi wearing a blue judo gi with the black belt. The way he gripped, the way he rolled over. Clearly a judoka. We have to understand the Tajik wrestling team and the judo team, excuse me, are quite strong. Always competing and always present. So it's no surprise to see very good judo here on solid ground and here now if someone drops like this for Seoi Nage and the other guy rolls him over kept the momentum going the impact the drive I'm okay with the score but a lot of the times now it just gets stopped and then he puts him down gently and uh, for example this example here for Teiwaza as uh, judo highlights call them I'm okay with it now Uchimata Makikomi is one of the most dangerous throws out there especially for the head just look at the head of uke here it bounces off and also you have the arm of tori slamming it almost like you're doing a 12 to 6 and it is not fun it will not only give you cauliflower ears but it will give you a concussion and possibly a more serious injury so doing it on hard floor i was surprised the guy stood up and even started talking to the ref that I only landed on my side it wasn't a full score so from what I've noticed is if it's not flat on your back it's half a score kind of like the wazari and also the um, ippon which is impact flat on the back and with speed and force and precision so not all their competitions are obviously on uh, out there in the grasslands here you see people from different countries actually competing and in a stadium regular now you see the the mats the puzzle mats i'm guessing the funding is not like igf obviously but you can see 
I really like the choice of colors they wear. You have the green, the red, and the white. Obviously, it's the Tajikistan flag, but you can see that they have uh, tournaments similar to judo, no weight categories from what you see here. So uh, it's quite a, a good uh, thing to watch. A lot of them are very graceful, uh, even as big guys, the way they throw and the way they lift. And um, uh, here, this uh, tournament was done in Dushanbe in Tajikistan. So you can see clearly these guys are judokas, or if not, they are sambist. They take these elements into their wrestling and vice versa, much like the Georgians, much like the Mongols, uh, etc. So um, it's quite a good thing to see high level and very good skill. And at the same time, a lot of cultural elements, especially the ones done outside. We often discuss judo being done uh, on the floor and how dangerous it can be. So the takeaway is this rollover. Once you know that the throw is really being done properly, concede, roll with it, don't fight it. That's when you actually can get uh, injured. And then of course, uh, learn your ukemi properly. These will be very important for you, for your longevity. So on the floor or uh, on the mats, try to apply the same principles. And in Maeda's book, uh, I believe someone talked about having a car crash and um, they rolled over and they did the ukemi or the uh, falling forward rolling and they, they had their lives saved because of judo. So these things are very, um, very crucial in every situation possible. So whether, like I said, it's on a toiled field like you see here or on puzzle mats, which are still to a large degree, I think they can be very dangerous or just regular mats. If you go to Kodokan, they are spring mats, almost like a trampoline, I should say. And uh, I think in the future, a lot of the mats should be kind of like the Kodokan. It's The Kodokan is very traditional. You walk into it, the facility, but once you step on the mat, you can feel it, it vibrates or oscillates in a sense. And uh, that makes it a very good and safe environment. We want to be doing this every single day or very frequently till the last day uh, of our lives. So uh, if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. If you have more experience with Tajik wrestling, please share it down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.